We are back with Chris Kerber, or Radio Face, as he decided he would uh, <laughs> like to be called from here on out. Uh, they'll know you in Dallas. I'm sure you made a lot of trips there, as have the Blues. They, they, they ought to know what they're getting into there, and they're a pretty good road team as this series moves to Dallas. Blues have been a terrific road team under Craig Berube. As a matter of fact, it was the road play in the regular season, as you know, that catapulted them into the playoffs. They had to play great on the road just to even make the playoffs. And then they go 3-0 and on the road in Winnipeg, so very comfortable on the road. Uh, their win against the Dallas Stars in the regular season came at the American Airlines Center. So, I mean, I, I think the Blues are very comfortable going in there, and I don't think there's any difference to them uh, here versus theirs. Regardless of how this series plays out, it looks like it's going to be a big uh, award season for the Blues. They've got three guys now up for major awards, starting with Jordan Bennington and the, uh, and the Calder Award. Yeah, so that, that was announced today that Jordan Bennington uh, was a finalist for the Calder Award, as he should be. The, the big debate when it comes to Jordan Bennington in that award is a lot of people are saying, well, Pedersen's got to win, and he played the whole season. Well, actually, he struggled for a good part of that season, too, in the last 20 games. He played on a team where he was going to get a lot of ice time because they weren't very good. So, And I'll make the case, and I always do, that if you've played enough games to qualify for league rankings, you've played enough games to qualify for the award. Ben Bishop is a Vesna finalist, having only played 46 games. You know, so uh, I think Jordan Bennington, it ought to be a really interesting race. Uh, if I had to handicap it, I still think uh, that uh, Pedersen probably wins out, but it'd be really cool to see Jordan Bennington, you know, win the Calder. And the Blues have only had, believe it or not, one Rookie of the Year winner ever, and it was Barrett Jackman, right. you know, playing with, Al, playing with Al McKinnis. So it'd be cool to see if he could pull that one off. And Craig Berube, a finalist for the Jack Adams Award. How could anybody in the league beat him out for Coach of the Year based on what he did? Three great stories in this race. You've got John Cooper, who backstopped and coached the, the Tampa Bay Lightning to tie the record of Detroit with 62 wins in the regular season. And the voting is done before the playoffs, so it has nothing, no impact. The playoffs have no impact on it. You've got Barry Trotz, who leaves the Washington Capitals after winning the Stanley Cup, goes to the New York Islanders where their goaltending was bad, and the team had just lost John Tavares. And their goaltending has a turnaround because Barry Trotz brings Mitch Korn with him, and then they turn around and almost win their division and then eventually and again this doesn't play a role in the voting but they do upset the Pittsburgh Penguins in round one that's a go and then you got Baruby what a great story this is taking over a team that was mired in last place a team with high expectations they weren't getting met he had to get a hold of the reins get guys to believe in him and then January 3rd you're dead last in the league and you still only lost the Central Division by one point. I think it's going to be a great race between three well-deserved candidates. Should be, and I think you'll get some votes for Channel 4 Hockey Analyst of the Year as well. Uh, no, nah, I'll give that to the TV guys, you know, that've come in on Blues Week. Let's read it, guys. We just we just hang in the wings. Uh, we just we just <laughs> sit down there and uh, we, we we just sit back and you know, don't take up any extra makeup and just do our job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is the man who would now like to be called Radio Face, Chris Kerber. Chris, thanks much for being with us. There was a reason for that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it from here. Maurice, back to you.